Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode in the World Painter series. Today we are going to be working on placing these bushes and working on how to get them into World Painter. So we're starting here in Minecraft, so I can show you guys what we're working with here. Basically, all you got to do is come in. It's similar to what we did with the birds over there and everything. You just left, right, and then you go inside and you do slash slash copy, and then you do save, game, and then name here. You just do that like that with all the different sizes. I just want to kind of let you guys know how to do that. I already went through and did that when I was already making the whole map, so I'm not going to duplicate them all here. But so we have these guys here that I want to be showing you guys. Over here we have these bushes that are pretty much all just schematic saved. They're different shapes and everything, and then they get kind of worked together. We have some uh, dragonflies and all those cool things too, which pretty much all you do here is you grab a block there left right you get both of them and then you break that and then you copy it because then you have both blocks selected left right there we go that's what it is sorry I left I double left click there yeah so you get both those selected and that's kind of all you need to do for that and then for this one you just kind of do the three high and you do there to there and you do save schematic as that or there's another way you can do it if you follow up the seagull birds and whatnot tutorial that we did previously on the channel so we have all those different options available just remember with the birds you also need to get that invisible block that's placed above it well for the flying texture but with that we're going to be jumping over into world painter where we can start working with all of these different things and we'll be getting that going so i will catch you guys over there okay so if you guys remember last time in world painter we got all the texturing in for the mountains here which is very very cool it looks awesome in game we checked that out last time so if you didn't if you missed that video go ahead and go to the previous video in this series where we do all the mountain texturing and you guys will be able to see all of that it turned out very very nice in game as you can see in here we got those nice little mixes of textures and things like that in here and so there's a lot of cool stuff going on but beyond that so i went ahead and imported all the layers i was using in the map when i was making it to begin with there is a lot of them i'll be honest there's quite a few of them and we can kind of look through them right now but basically what we're going to work with today is we're going to be working with the cattails and reeds we're going to be working with the where are they? the dragonflies the butterflies um as well as the where are they the willows so the willow trees which are the small little guys we've made over in um the little super flat world they're small little trees and basically what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to work along the edge of these waterways here and kind of pasting in all these things but basically here we go to the cattails and reeds we go into edit you can see that we use um the schematics that we made previously this is just the autumn reed texture one high then there's one that's two high then three high then we have cattails one high two high three high then we have the tall all cow parsley one high two high and three high so pretty much what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be grabbing a brush we're going to be going into the paint tools and we're going to be using the cattails and reeds i'm going to do the full brush and pretty much we're going to do at or below uh what is that we the water level is 30 I believe so we're gonna do 32 just to get like that nice little corner around it and we're gonna do only on grain type bear grass that's really gonna oh, except on water you're gonna see in here we can bring that intensity all the way up to 100 percent you're gonna see in here it's gonna really start to paint in this color along the edges and it it does look pretty simple um but it works really well kind of just doing it at this low level so it kind of brings that water bits kind of touching all the way up through the whole channel that we have here you do that all the way around kind of going all over the place up there we can later on go ahead and put in our river ourselves but pretty much we're just going to go ahead we can zoom all the way out here and pretty much we just want to start it in there and bring it all the way up just throughout the river then around this watery area in here too with that lake and then we can bring that in all the way over here as well and bring that all the way through there so that's going to get all of those different textures in there which will in turn look really really cool then on top of these two so now we can grab our willows and these just kind of mix it up a little bit these really really help with kind of just mixing it up and i like to allow these to go up to another two blocks high so they kind of they look all right 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cracks brush. We can use that and we just kind of dab it. And then, yeah, so we're just gonna kind of dab this guy on here. And then the intensity is still at 100%. So it's gonna give us that nice texture going all the way across, or not texture, but the nice variation in the amounts that we have. And it's really starting to kind of bring in all these different colors. We'll be jumping into game here afterwards to check out the different areas and see how that goes. Probably in one of these little widened little river areas because it gives a lot of definition of what we've been looking at. And pretty much we just go in, uh, lightly left click this guy going all the way up here. Because if you hold it and drag, you'll see that we get like that whole area right there becomes filled up. Do control Z to get rid of that. And we're just gonna dab that in there again. And then we can come over here down to this way and do that again. And just dabbing our way along the bottom here. So this video, the purpose of this video is to show you guys what you can do and how you can get those different schematics in here. So we can see here, and just as an example, I'm gonna export out this little area and we'll jump over into Minecraft and I'll show you what we got going on here. Okay, so here we are back in the Minecraft world. As you can see here, we got these cool little variations coming in here with all these diff the different height levels. There we have the two high reeds, we have the three high reeds. Um, we got the two high cow parsley, the three high, and it's just really nicely mixing up the different terrains in here, trying to work it in and smooth it out. We got the willow trees that are just kind of poking out every now and then, just using the little crack features I did. Do a tiny brush so we got that kind of weird looking terrain coming out here in the background, but that's fine. Um, you guys can see kind of how all these brushes are really coming together and trying to add in that high detail parts throughout the whole build that we get a lot of. What we can do in here now is we can come back in and mask over this with our dragonflies and flies brush, which we've made previously. If you guys follow the video for how to make the seagulls brushes, you guys can figure out how to make those very, very quickly. But it's basically just a schematic of each of them with air blocks attached below it to get the specific heights you want. Um, we got a nice little slime over there. Um, but yeah, so this has been how to do this stuff. We're going to go back into World Painter now and we can jump in there and come out with and check out what we can do with all the flies and adding that kind of stuff in here. So I will catch you guys in a few. So here we are back in World Painter. On this side, we're, we're going to be going through here is we're going to be using our dragonflies layer that we made, which if you go into edit, it has the dragonflies with one air block below it, dragonflies with two air blocks below it. Then we have flies that are with one air block below it and flies with two air blocks below it. I know it's because it's two blocks high, so it's one block off the ground, three blocks high, so it's two blocks off the ground. That's kind of how it works in there. That's what I did. Um, and pretty much what we want to be doing with here is we're going to be doing, we're setting this up with, we got our dragonfly selected at or above 28 blocks and then at or below 34 and then only on bear grass. The reason why we disable that except on water part is because we really want those dragonflies and stuff to kind of be leaching out into the water. Notice under here in dragonflies, we go into one object per 50 blocks. And then what that does is at 100% intensity, there's one per 50. 14 blocks, which means that we're not, if we do 100% right here and basically take this square and drag it, just going straight across, it's going to still give us a, oh, that is a, a little bit too much. Let's bring this down to 32 and do that. But then that's going to give us this cool texture. I know it's really messing with the colors of our map and makes things look really weird, but you just kind of get used to it. Um, to go through World Painter and all that, it, Stuff. It's very easy when you're getting all that data coming in for you when you're at these high uh, different, like a lot of difference in the colors. So it's really, really high contrast and it's easy to see the colors of the layers you want to be working with. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through here and go all the way down this way and we're bringing that all the way up to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to export just this little bit here and I'll meet you guys back over in Minecraft so we can check that out one more time. All right, guys, so here we are back in Minecraft in the exact same place we're at before. And you can see there's already so much more life into it. We got these nice little flies all over the place because that one has the one air block below it. Then this one has the two air blocks below it. So it's three high off the ground, two high. And then we're getting a lot of variation with So because we have better foliage. We have these reeds coming out into the dirty areas and whatnot which allows for a lot of these dragonflies and things to look a lot more natural out here, seeing as there's all the dirt 
or all the reeds and stuff kind of hanging out above the water. So you can see that it really kind of just brings that all together. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of cool detail coming in here. You can see all these different flies and everything, and they're kind of coming up into the mount, starting to come up off the shoreline or off the edge of the river, which is giving a lot of that extra bits of detail that we, we were really looking for beforehand. Um, this is really starting to bring the train to life, and now you can imagine once all the trees and everything get back in there too, this area right here is going to look really, really cool once you get all the trees put in here. So with that guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe down below. It really means a lot to me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these videos, about all these tutorials, and if you find any of this useful, it would be really awesome to know that I'm helping you guys out. Um, with that though, I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day, night, afternoon, wherever you're from. And with that guys, I'll see you in the next episode.